Hello, welcome to our Success Factors How To series on performance management. Now, employers and management rate and review the performance of their employees for a particular period, either mid year or at the end of the year, or both. Most of the people using the traditional HR system use a paper form. Success Factors, however, gives you a solution that is paperless. And so you'll be able to track the performance of your employees and even review them without using any papers. Now, today we are going to look at how an employee rates himself. Before the process starts, a consultant or the HRPP or super admin goes into the system and then launches a form. Once that is done, the employees will receive a notification here in their to-do list to review their performance. So an employee starts by simply logging into the system and then navigating to this icon here and then clicking on it. After clicking on review performance, there is this dialog box which appears and then you can see employee self-evaluation. So the employee just clicks on that link. Clicking on the link takes the employee to a different page which displays the performance review form for the particular period speculated. Now, before I go on to rating, I just want to talk about some of the things that you can see on the form. Yeah, so we start with the route map. So the route map shows the different stages that the form has to go through before it gets to completion. Now, this is highly configurable and depending on how the organization works, we can configure the system for the form to go through those processes. All right, so if you look at this route map, we have after the employee self-evaluation, we have the manager's review, and then it goes through calibration, and then we have the performance review discussion, then the employee signature, after which we have the manager also signs, and then the form is completed. So depending on how your organization runs this form, uh, this route map can be configured. We also have the employee information, which is pulled from Employee Central, also, as, which is also a solution and embedded in success factor solution. So it is one of the modules, okay? And uh, it keeps the employee records, all right? So this performance management form is able to pull the employee's record or the employee's information from Employee Central. So you realize the name, the department, title, code, everything, last name, everything is, is automatically pulled. Now we have the review information. With the review information, we are looking at the originator of the form, who launched the form, and then the period in which we are reviewing the employee and then the due date. All right. So from the review information, we also have the introduction. So the introduction talks about what the form is about. And this can also be edited depending on what your organization wants. All right. So from the introduction, we move to the performance goals. So this is where the employee rates himself based on the goals set by the manager. All right. So we looked at the first one, we have increased profitability by 50% at the end of the year. So probably the employee feels like he's a three. And after rating him or herself, the employee gets a chance to comment under this particular goal. That is also configurable, depending on how the organization wants it. If you want a comment box included or the comment box re removed, we can configure that for you. 
So let's put in this comment. I was able to All right, so let's look at the next goal. We have the second goal from the learning and growth category. So that one is read two books and write blocks on SAP. So there's a feature in the rating where you can choose this icon here and you can see the caption that appears, too new to rate. All right, so you can click on it this way. And that is used when uh, the employee just came into the organization and probably the goal cannot be met within that time. So you can just select that option or for some reasons, which are very laudable. You were not able to work on this goal. All right, so you can use this option to, to communicate that, that this goal was not something that you could achieve. And then, especially if you are very new in the organization, and so you you can't actually accomplish it. And so you are too new to to wait. So you realize that the form has two two sessions. So we have the performance goals and then we have the core competencies. So we have the core competencies now. Okay. And the same idea runs through the session too. So I don't want to spend so much time on it. So I'll just rate it. And then you can put in a comment here. All right. And then you have certain objectives, which also are core competence. You can rate yourself probably a one. All right. And then you put in a comment here. So when you are done, all right, you can either save and close. All right. Probably you want to come in later and then finish up with the comments. You were not able to put in any comments right now. All right, or you didn't even finish reading at all. There were a lot of goals or competences for you to read on. And so you couldn't finish up. You could save and close and it will be stored in your draft. All right, or you could complete the self-evaluation. Before I click on this complete self-evaluation, let me just run through a few of the icons here. So you can view some of the goals in your history. Okay, so maybe previous years, um, um, performance review, you can, you can actually look at some of those review uh, done in the past okay you can also print this form you can save it as a pdf and then you can just save it just as save and close also we have this supporting part here where you can actually attach documents so if you have any document you want to attach you click on it and then you get a chance to add a document to the review processes so when you have completed everything you want to do on this form, you just click on complete self-evaluation. Once you click on that, you are notified, all right, that you're about to push the form to the next person in the route map, which is your manager. So you are notified that you're about to send this form to the next person specified in the workflow. And so it is going to Kojo manager, which is the manager of the employee. So once you confirm that that is what you want done, you click on the complete self-evaluation tab. Now, after you have done this, the form will be pushed to your manager and your manager will also be notified in his to-do list to also review your form. That will be all for today. In today's session, we looked at how an employee rates or evaluates himself or herself. I hope you enjoyed the session. All right.
thank you so much for your time. And I hope to see you in the next session. Bye.